Like Nyx took me when I had like 10,000 subscribers. They accepted me when nobody else did. And now I have like 400,000. All of our contestants tonight are basically battling for the title of beauty blogger of the year. And get this, they win a grand prize of 20 is it time that we meet our next Face Awards contestant? Tonight's grand prize winner, title of Next Face Awards Beauty Blogger of the Year for $25,000 goes to... Just get on with it already. It's Cookie Congratulations, Adelaide, aka Cookie Monster, on your win. How do you feel? Um, to be honest, I don't believe this. Um, I just went, like, Nyx took me when I had like 10,000 subscribers. It was a very little channel. And, like, they accepted me when nobody else did. And now I have like 400,000. And I'm just so thankful and grateful. So you just won $25,000. What are you going to put that towards? Definitely a little bit to ovarian cancer because I want to stay true because I said I would do that last year for my grandma and maybe the rest to like college or university. Do you have a message that you maybe want to give to your subscribers out there? Um, definitely. I just want to say that I had no idea that I could do this and I didn't know that I was capable of doing this. Just remember that you're more beautiful, magical and wonderful than you could ever think and you're loved by a more than you can ever imagine. I'm so excited right now. I'm with two of my favorite people from YouTube and the co-host of the event. All right, what was your favorite part of the night? My favorite thing was fake fighting with Amy. And then also the acceptance speech at the end was just so heartwarming. So I was the winner of the first Nick Face Awards and it's cool to see, to patch the torch on and to see how they upped it this year. It was amazing. What did you do when you won? When I won, I started breaking down and crying and giving thanks to God. I was like, oh my gosh. I had a Halle Berry moment. I was like, oh my gosh. But it was amazing and it just changed my life. And I really believe that it's going to change all those contestants' lives. What was the highlight for you tonight? I would have to say the highlight was the crowning moment of Sweet Adeline. She was just so touched and heartfelt and, her, and the speech she shared about just, you know, her past prior to her life in makeup was very, very touching. So that for me was like the sweet spot. So congratulations on being part of the top six. Thank you so much. You know, you didn't take the crown, but you did an incredible job. What do you think was the highlight of your night? Seeing everyone, talking to the judges, and just getting the awards and seeing Karis for sure. What do you think inspires you? Definitely my family, uh, my dad for sure, and everyone watching, because if they weren't watching, then I wouldn't have a YouTube channel. So definitely everyone at home definitely keeps inspiring me with the comments and all the positive feedback that they do give. What are you going to take away from this incredible week? Well, this was such an incredible experience, and we learned so much. And we, you know, we got to connect with old friends and meet new friends and make new connections that we didn't have before this competition. And we've all grown, and we've learned so much that I mean, every everyone in the six is a winner. Anyone who participates in the Face Awards is a winner. It's just, it's so great to, you know, we made it all the way to the end, and we learned so much. And we are gonna go back home, different people. So what's next for you? I really want to, you know, I want to hit my YouTube game strong. I want to keep doing what I'm doing. I would just like to expand my channel and educate and inspire as much as possible and take everything that I learned from the past week and the four months of the competition and just push it off into the universe. I'm just gonna go home and keep rocking and doing what I do and doing what I love. What are you guys gonna do on your channels now? Definitely more gonna do like more fancy looks. I'm so used to just doing eye makeup, but I'm thinking now I'm really gonna just bring it all out. Well, I've been used to doing a lot of beauty makeup on my channel, like she said, like just very, very simple looks. But this has kind of like brought me out of my comfort zone and out of my shell, and I loved it. It was so, so, so much fun. You were a judge. What kind of pressure came with that? Oh my gosh, it was a lot of pressure because all of the contestants were so talented, and being in that judge seat this time, it was like very difficult. I was actually looking for like how original they were, how creative they were. Um, also like makeup skills was like number one for me. And also personality is a big one, you know, nowadays on YouTube you gotta really have that personality. Scott, tell me about tonight, what was the highlight for you? Well the highlight for me when I watch these beauty vloggers is to feel their energy and to see how they're so supportive of each other. And they're incredibly talented but 
their enthusiasm just jumps out of the video. Well, I love watching it and I had so much fun tonight. Thanks so much for watching. I had so much fun tonight. Remember, you can find me on social media at Giselle Ugardi. And if you like this video, want to see more, make sure that you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching Beauty TV.